nanotecnologia. Nanotechnology. Nano science. Nano medicine. Nano means dwarf. We certainly aren't dealing with snow white dwarfs. What are we really talking about? Immaginiamo. Let's imagine that every healthy Chinese, that means one billion, wants to listen to our conversation and assume we must give them all something to eat. We have to buy a one meter long mortadella and cut it into one billion slices. I don't understand what you want to do. Ognuna di queste fette allo spessore di un nanometer. Each slice is one nanometer thick, which is one billionth of a meter. Nanotechnology is what allows us to see and make objects having this order of magnitude. A proposito di cinesi. About the Chinese, how long will the queue be if they all line up neatly? The queue will go around the world 20 times attorno alla terra. Since ancient times, man has been accustomed to small things such as the fine hair of a child or the even thinner threads of a spider's web or transparent soap bubbles. The use of lenses and microscopes made it possible to see much smaller objects. Already by the end of the 17th century, some bacteria could be seen making use of small glass pearls as lenses. But visible light has a definite limitations, and with the best optical microscope, it is not possible to have a good image of objects smaller than one thousandth of a millimeter. Using a beam of electrons, you can obtain even a thousand times better precision. But can we investigate and operate on smaller and smaller dimensions beyond any limit? In the geometry we study at school, this looks possible. Everything can be reproduced bigger or smaller while remaining completely alive. But the real world is totally different. Even in our normal life, we can realize that the relative importance of different kinds of forces changes with the dimensions of the objects. Indeed, the ratio between surface and volume changes with the size. The smaller bubbles are characterized by a larger ratio between surface and volume, and so they rise more slowly compared to the bigger ones, because the breaking resistance depends on the surface and the buoyancy force depends on the volume. In other words, the small bubbles undergo greater breaking than the big ones. Oggi, nowadays, with electron microscopes and atomic force microscopes, 
we can reach nanometer size and we are able to distinguish even single atoms and molecules. But besides observing atoms, it is possible to act on them and make aggregates according to a given project. La cosa non è semplice. This is not simple. The physics of the nano world is different from ours. It is indeed extremely difficult to catch or displace one atom at a time, as we usually do with the common mechanical objects. All neighbor molecules must be influenced so that they can help to drive and accept the plant displacement. Many results have even been obtained only by macroscopic actions, that is, in a mechanical or chemical way, as in the case of micro and nanofiber production. As in the case of the two 2010 Nobel Prize winners who have obtained a carbon film one atom thick with very innovative properties using a method similar to adhesive tape stripping from a base of graphite, which is what lead pencil are made of. E anche accaduto the light of distant stars has suggested the existence in a remote part of the universe of an unknown molecular structure composed of 60 carbon atoms. This has spurred on the laboratory creation of the nano soccer ball shaped full rene made up of 60 carbon atoms hollow inside with the very interesting features. But now a more direct way is being developed or bottom up as one usually says. Single nanometric structures are realized by driving atoms and their neighbors to rearrange themselves in a pre-planned configuration. In this way, you are building nanostructured mechanisms and the drug carriers to be directly introduced into the patient, allowing for a controlled delivery of medicines. And who knows what unthinkable possibilities you can get following this path, which is undoubtedly the most fascinating, unpredictable and mysterious. A path that runs through the strange physical laws of matter at atomic level, going to towards the mysterious world of chemical catalysts and the components of life. We already have fascinating results, although we are at our first steps. It seems incredible that by investigating materials in the always smaller direction, the number of applications is becoming larger and larger, and in many different technological sectors, including medicine, which I have above all at heart. In very few decades, one can easily foresee a complete revolution with a growth rate comparable to that which we had in the world of computer technology. The impact could be even greater because in this case we are also going to encounter new forms of matter and unthinkable effects, both from scientific and practical point of view. You know Galileo quotation, the one hanging on your study. Door. It is just the same. I'm looking for the light of science and its benefit.